Hello there. This is a quick screencast to demo the new uh, Emon TX RF config via serial feature that I've been working on. Um, an issue that crops up with the, the Emon TX is um, if we need to configure unique node IDs uh, for more than two units. The current hardware dip switch on the Emon TX V3.4 only allows a selection of um, two unique node IDs and uh, it's often a requirement to have more than two Emon TXs on an RF network. Um, you can have up 30 Emon TXs on a single on a single network if they're within range. Um, so in the past we've had to upload, the, reload the firmware manually with a different node ID. Um, so um, I've implemented a feature to enable us to configure the node ID, the RF frequency and the the network group from a serial um, uh, config, and these values, this this config is saved to the EEP ROM. Therefore, it's loaded every time the unit restarts. So we can see here we're looking at um, uh, Emon TX V3.4 serial output, and at start up here we can see that it uh, loaded um, EEP ROM RF config and that's the config it loaded, which actually is the default config, I just saved the default. If we were to connect a, a blank Emon TX that hadn't had anything written to its EEP ROM, it would load um, the default, default from the sketch, which is actually 8, uh, eight no, the 8 frequency 43 and group 210. And then after that it does its power on self check and uh, we see here that there's an instruction if we enter plus 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 then enter we get um, RF config mode at startup. And here is the Emon TX uh, V3 working. I haven't got anything connected here. Um, it's just outputting some random values. Um, notice it's outputting a uh, serial string pairs um, at a higher baud rate of uh, 115200. This is for um, Emon ESP compatibility um, to be able to post to Emon CMS via an ESP8266 via the Emon ESP project that we've been working on. Anyway, let's uh, come back back to this. So if we just uh, close this serial window um, and open a new one and restart the unit. So this time during the first 10 seconds just entered plus three times and now we're in a uh, config mode, entering config mode, available commands. So here we can set the node ID, the frequency, the network group, and then save config and view the firmware version. So let's go for setting um, a node ID of 13. So we can type 13i. You can see 13i come down there. And let's change the group to group 200. Um, 200G and the frequency to 868, so I'm going to go 8B. There we go, and done with that, so I'm going to hit S to save the changes. And there we go, done, new config saved to EEP ROM. So now if I exit and open up another serial window and restart the unit. So there we have loaded from config node 13, frequency 868 and group 200. Simple as that. RF has been configured. Thank you.